Following up on our last post about upslips of the ilium, and if you haven't seen that yet, I recommend going back and reading it first. Let's take a closer look at this real life example. This horse came to me with this standing posture. Do you notice how dramatically uneven the hips are? A difference greater than about a half a centimeter is rarely just natural variation. It's usually a sign of injury. When I see this degree of asymmetry in the tubercei crawlies, it's a major red flag. I already know the SI joint and surrounding anatomy have been affected. Also take note, both hind limbs are externally rotated. This is common when there's dysfunction higher up at the SI joint. More evidence we need to investigate further. Now also looking from the posterior view, you'll see the right ilium sitting higher than the left. This kind of asymmetry is consistent with a right-sided upslip. He's also weighting his left hind and offloading the right. This often indicates that the right side is the fixed or injured side. But we don't guess, we must assess. In active evaluation, this pattern becomes even more obvious. He continues to wait to the left and avoids loading the right. There is no rise and fall of the hips during the stride. And in healthy motion, we would be looking to see symmetrical rise and fall of the pelvis. The limbs should also land evenly beneath the body. Here, we are seeing neither. Now, the most telling sign of an upslip is lameness at the trot. Why? Because an upslip functionally shortens the limb. That means that every joint below starts in a more extended position. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. The hips stifle and hawk barely flex. You'll also see very clear pain behaviors. This isn't a training issue, it is pain. Trying to run with a functionally shorter leg is like asking a person to run without being able to bend one knee. It just doesn't work. And it puts huge strain on the SI joint and the surrounding tissues. Here's the good news. This is completely treatable. I treat this injury in humans regularly and apply the same principles to the horses. After just one treatment, look at the change. More symmetrical loading, more balanced standing posture. Those hip heights are a little more level and the hind limbs are no longer externally rotated. At the trot, we see less pain, improved joint flexion and better functional movement overall. If you want to know exactly what we did in treatment and what the home care plan looked like, sign up for our newsletter. We'll be sharing the full breakdown in our next client spotlight including the most surprising factor of all that made the biggest difference in this case.